Hello everybody. Um, it's weekend again, and uh, I've just finished a repair of this uh, Mitsubishi indoor circuit board. What's that problem with the uh, fan motor? Well, and I thought maybe I would do a quick and our fan motor test on these old meter okay um it, it is not a um a daikin i have another video talking about daikin uh, fan motor um dc fan motor um well normally when you have a problem then you call you know technical support they're gonna give you a run on how to you know get the um get the um, the measurement the old measurement you know on the motor uh this is one of the um uh, one of the um you see there there are six wire on this motor six wire and it is ac fan 31 watt three wire um you know goes to one socket okay. this socket and this socket this socket is supplying the um the ac voltage you know to to the main coil whereas the smaller socket is always a signal feedback the whole feedback all right and uh, anyway the um the start run capacitor is in here all right um we don't test this fan. This fan AC and DC feedback will be covered in another video. In fact, there's so many different type of motor that you'll be able to see. Um, or you will fix when you do this work. You know, this sort of air conditioning work. Uh, look, in the old day, I used to have a motor with a piggy tail you know socket like this see that but look you know how many has been burned it's so many burned okay because up when the circuit board faulty you plug it in kaput that's it anyway i'll leave it here also we have a panasonic fan here panasonic fan motor here this one 340 volt uh, 40 watt and then uh, we have a I have where is that the infamous Daikin thingy. this one no no this one a wire a different one um, hold on I'll, uh, I'll pause the video there <laughs> Daikin Look, this is Daikin for sure. Yeah. All right, condenser fan. Hold on, now turn off all of this. It's done, done. Soren iron, all that. Okay, move this one a bit over here. Now, um, well, just quickly to show you on the analog meter, right? Normally, when it dry then you will have a um, the main circuit is, is, uh, the fuse blown up as well so i will just quickly to check the this and this is the high voltage coil the blue and the red come on man and tom 10k so we have at a moment come on man Okay. Ooh. I think I'm gonna need another. Okay. Uh, this one doesn't work as good. Um, ah, here. Okay. 
so got to be zero at least 10k yeah I'm 10k so it's zero now oh. and okay right now I'll check between the earth and the 300 volt DC coil we have about 50 60 nearly 70k okay there right there 70k I'll zoom in see 5 times 10 50 and then you have 60 and then it's almost 68k alright 68 kilo ohm now swap the proof around and we got nothing all right here there okay now come to i think i will pull all of these oh come on come to this meter We're going to have twenty two Mac. All right, see that? And if you reverse the proof, you have nothing. See that? I'll go this way. Go this way. All right. Yeah. No. Nothing. See that? Okay. I'll move on to this one. You see. I have 20 mega ohm, 19, hmm? and reverse, zero, okay, whereas, see, whereas this one is opposite, okay, so I have this one too, There, four Mac. Okay. Nothing wrong with the meter. This is fluke. Nothing wrong with the meter. I did calibrate that, you know, two days ago and been using that five. Okay. Yeah. There. There you are. So you got somewhere between 68 kilo ohm to about 20 something mega ohm. All right and the more you do if you're moving on to the next one between earth neck one and all that well you will see it's, it's rather you know <laughs> it's not it's not accurate it's not the way we do it all right now there's another way that uh, I have so many I have many different tester okay I have many different tester. One of that is a fire wire to test the fan fire wire. I have some other tester, all sort of testers, you know, just to test the um, the fan motor. Okay. Uh, so what I'll do is, you see this one. This is the collar drill. The um, battery back okay and we have how many volt 
Okay, 19 volt. This 18 volt pack anyway. Quite normal. So, uh, let me move this one here. Uh, pull it up a little bit so we have enough room. Uh, get rid of that. This one. Ah, this one Panasonic too. Let's see. Um, and Panasonic the same. They employ the same technique. Well, I don't know who's a co copycat, but <laughs> it's not going to work that way, guy. Okay. All measurement is a problem. Okay. All right. And you might find that the same model will give you different reading as well. Trust me. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, but anyway, you get generally you have an idea. Uh, you get an idea that this it will it will be okay. The high voltage, you know, the three hundred volt is, is okay as long as it is um, as long as it is you know infinity or very high uh, ohmage on one end. Uh, you know, I mean one reverse polarity will give you high reading. Uh, what I'm doing here. This is my test kit and um, yeah like I said I made up too many each type like the 6 wire, the 7 wire and all that. Um, it also allowed me to run on 240 volt and battery back. Um, why? When I'm like say come to the customer right people doesn't need to know reason they just want to get it done get it fixed and you know get it paid <laughs> yeah of course you want that anyway and you're hanging yourself sitting on top of the ladder okay in the laundry room whenever the indoor head and I have one other Panasonic indoor head here, and you you can you can you can muck around. I mean, it have to be done in within ten minutes. Okay, you can muck around. Um, otherwise, you know, people know they're so smart now. Anyway, this is the DC fan pack. I use this one to convert 18 volt into a universal 240 volt universal power uh, and it will be detecting the power from this fan and then it will you know give a bit of boot off power uh, I have this one is Mitsubishi fan okay Mitsubishi will be here will be here yep so we see and remember guys I used to do a picky tail like this so many that so many okay uh, don't waste your money on two rat okay now we move this guy over 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 and um, yeah three of them um, and yeah let's use the two amps uh, we check before it was uh, oh that's why you pay for expensive meter right yeah 19 volts let's see uh, this one and this one okay there Anyway, uh, for for the battery pack like this, okay, you have the different connection. So you need the blade, ah, the yeah, you know to convert from this. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna turn on the power. Okay, there, it's on. Now, this tester 
is actually a tester you see it's not only test the fan motor for the functionality it's also test for the fault if you have a fault in the fan it will be able to detect it like say at the moment we uh, did it a switching back i switched it to this fan this one is daikin remember this is the daikin one daikin 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 here the number right that's the daikin and as you can see, this indicates that the high voltage is okay. Otherwise, they will be turned off by itself. You know, there's a over voltage, under voltage, uh, short circuit, uh, well, all sort of protection. I made all of the mistakes that possibly can be happening to a technician. Okay, to a hack V, to an air conditioner repairer. Any possible mistake I make at all, and I learn from it. So, well, anyway, we have the switch in here. You know, it switch over to this fan, this fan. Doesn't matter. See, this one is run straight away. Why? Because of its faulty. Okay, I'll show you later. Anyway. Now, and uh, this, the, the next function of the fan motor we're going to need to test after the high voltage coil is the feedback, the, the pulse, the whole, I call it the whole, um, the whole feedback, you know, uh, pulses or signal. And you can see blue means okay, the circuit board is working. All right. And now, look at when I turn this, you see the green on and off, on and off. Oh, yeah. Here. All right. And I can, I can make it work very slowly, you see. You see, flick. Oh, hold on. I'm going to uh, turn off the power now. I'm gonna put this one on so you see it's working. Guys up on the video you don't you don't see this working, yeah. Alrighty. And when I talk to the guy who specialize into IC fan motor, I have many supplier. One of that is um you know is on the other side of the tail, not, you know, um, near, near airport, Tulamarin airport. But anyway, you see, if it's working, you will say, yeah, I mean, I, I, I hope you can see this one too. All right. Now, this one, the pose is faulty, so we need to put it over here. Okay, now, we have to have this one right next here. All right, it's, it's, it's makes sense now. Okay, right. Well, turn it on. Yeah, there. Okay, it's work. Everything normal. Otherwise, you will hear the sound. The it will sound off, you know, to and then turn off the power. This battery pack, everything turn off. All right. Trust me, you don't want to hear a you know <laughs> a spark inside a customer bedroom you know and smelly no you don't want that anyway here okay at the moment i switch it here or if i want i can switch it over here look see it fit back the motor this motor tested before and it looked like that the um you know there's a problem but in fact it's the wrong uh, setting and i'm gonna switch over here and you will see there 
All right. So the feedback is okay. Yeah. And I can show how many poles. How many poles? One revolution. How many poles? You know. Okay. I can I can show you now if you want. Yeah, there. It's slow enough. All right. If you slow down the movie now, you'll be able to tell how many whole feedback from one motor from this motor. Okay. You see how safe it is with this kit. Otherwise, unplug and plug, you finish. You know, you get mess up. Anyway, turn off. Okay. Yeah. Now. I switch back to this one. All right, same thing. I can control the speed. Very. Ah, there. Okay, yeah. this one go this way, yeah. This one go this way. Anti-clockwise. Whereas this one. This one, I think it's go the other way round. Yeah. Yeah, see, this one go clockwise. Yeah. yeah, this one go anti-clockwise. All right. This test give you exactly the well. There's more function to it, not only to turn it on you know and let it run slow or fast now you'll be able to diagnose the circuit board with this one as well okay say for example with this little button here I turn and it's off and at the moment it's pointing about 13 volt okay now if I go down furthermore okay it stop but the power still work so I can tell that at the moment it's pointing about 9 volt so if the circuit board if the circuit board doesn't have to supply for the control PCB in this fan motor you know when you take a measurement on the circuit board you'll be able to tell okay the board is faulty as well because up, you test it here, it tell you 9 volt at least. However, this one, I know that it's run about 14.5. All right. But you need at least 9 volt. This one, you need at least 12 volt. I know because I'm doing so many of them. This one is about 13, 14 volt. Okay. So, yeah. Now we move to the infamous thingy. See? It's work. All right, it's, it's, it's give you a good view of uh, how the motor work. Also, it's eliminate the guesswork out of your testing. Then you can confident, 100% you can tell people, customer, the motor is okay. I guarantee you, only the PCB is problem. All right, or when you see the motor faulty, by testing it on this, you'll be able to test the PCB as well, and then you'll be able to tell, okay, the PCB is shit off. All right, I'm sorry, I gotta delete that. Um, I also have the dumber, the dummy, this one for Daikin, you see, is is to use in in place of this. Okay. Um, ah, by that I mean you can plug it in a Daikin. I'm gonna have another video to show that. Plug it in the Daikin, and you'll be able to count how many poles you have, uh, what the voltage, is that supply enough or not, you know, and then you'll be able to turn the poles off or the control voltage down then to see how the circuit board reacting like say when you turn down the number the frequency of the feedback pulse 
the circuit board tend to supply more voltage to you know increase the speed of the fan motor and then you'll be able to tell by looking at this you know light and then you see okay the pcb is responding quickly and good so you know okay um there's so many it's like market okay okay that's one for panasonic but that will be on the other video now we test this one yeah pose pose okay okay one two three every time the the blow flicker in that's one power this one is a feedback okay there and you can run it very slow all right how can you do it with the ohmmeter huh anyway and you know what if you are working on the roof by I mean on top of a roof on top of a shopping center and you don't have the AC power supply somewhere you know or you don't want to turn the power on and then it trip down the ICD and then you come down all the way to the you know to the switch box and turn it on and go not talking about some of your guys don't have the license to carry out hot work I mean live work not hot work hot work is for soldering brazing all right so this pack okay it's on my pack pack all the time when I'm going out to do the job and there's so many other tests you know we we can do with this system let put it on and this is not the um oh I, I, I will just turn it off now uh, to show you the other one you know real life situation real life i have the panasonic uh, put this here this there hold on hold on guys panasonic yeah. You know, you come across this model very often, I think. I'm, I'm making a, a video on this model. Yeah, uh, like say, Hex 11 era. Hex 11 era, you know, you have you have 11 different reasons for that era to happen, that's why. But it's, it's Hex 11, yeah. Communication uh, or comm data is missing. But look. That is, you have 11 different reasons, really, I'm not joking, you know, to, for, for the, the fault to happen. And then you have, ah, by the way, um, you see this, the, the indoor head, normally, you will have, I have another video describe some um, methods of removing you know this and very quickly all right so you have to remove this from here take it out okay that will be on the um my other video and inside here you will see the fan socket i already pulled it out it right inside there inside here okay yeah where the finger is um the camera is not good so i can cannot turn it around but however look if you have a fault problem or whatever in here you want to know pcb faulty or the fan faulty what would you do or the com signal faulty i give you five minutes what would you do see you test the fan first if you have the fan error but some of the fan error doesn't mean it will come with the fan faulty because of the circuit boards is faulty okay or even it will give you a data com data error okay because of the power supply in here is is not working so the com data is not working that's why it's missing now all right 
or the power supply, I mean, not working is is not strong enough. It's lacking out something, you know. Then, but then, what happened? You you go buy the new brand new circuit board, put in and find out the fan is kaput. Well, it's it's not hard, but for a a new guy to reply a fan motor in here, my I don't think it's gonna be an easy job. I do it 15, 20 minutes, but I don't think you guys can do it that quick anyway. Um, and some situation we just can, yeah, you, know, you can't do it at all. So what I'll do is, I will test the fan, all right? Take a long story short. Uh, okay, I have to go home too. Okay, now that, all right. Uh, and, uh, well, I don't need power. I don't need power from customer. I don't. I don't need one because I say if there's a shock circuit somewhere, you know. All right. So put it on there. Okay. Now look at my finger going in here, eh? and you see the light flashing there. Eh? And look at the light over there. The uh, when I flick. It flick, uh, you see, okay, that's a good sign, and besides, didn't shut off, no sound, no overloading, protection, no light, no warning, okay, the DC voltage is all right there, eh? it red, now, I turn it on, see, start to work, very slow. I'll show you this. Look at this. Hmm? I fold it that way and turn it on. Oop. Yeah, turn it off. All right. There. There. See that? Okay. Ah, by the way, you see, when I turn off, I slow it down, you see the light there? It's a warning sign. Okay? Why? It's telling me that the, fa the fan's working okay, there's nothing wrong. But I put it on the protection mode, not the full cycle mode. Now I put it on full cycle mode. And then turn on the power again. And then you will see it blow this one off. It will blow it off. Okay. Yeah. See? See that? Okay. Yeah. It will blow it off, man. Yeah. Hmm? See that? So, anyway, yeah, like I said, I make a lot of mistakes when I was young, now, you know, Anyway, um, the the fan test the kit. It it come as a kit, and the guy who designed this one, not me. The guy who designed this one, who you know, he doesn't have the um, he doesn't own the design. I mean, you can buy the kit from him to to solder that to put everything in assemble the way you want okay you can you can print your own box with your own brand and you know he doesn't owe that he owe the design of the circuit board okay inside it sell as the kit you know so it have to be assembled by yourself or uh, if you have someone 
uh, in electronic yeah those people skill enough to do you know they assemble for you the assembly but you know the guy doesn't know the box you see this is the um, the junction box that I put in you know this also junction box and believe it or not I use this one for five six years now seven years okay it's still going strong okay this one of the reliable most reliable way to test the DC fan quick precisely and safely professionally okay so for people who say okay maybe I'm bluffing or maybe I don't know enough you know send <laughs> again okay guys it's long enough thank you for watching bye now